table of the Senate. This is the mechanism of work that we have at this moment, and we are going to continue in this way. The move could come as soon as Friday and be in effect by the weekend, leaving Catalan politicians scrambling to decide how to handle Madrid's looming seizure of power. And for more on this story, we can bring in Jean-Marc Sanchez, a founder of the French-Spanish Bar Association here in Paris. Thank you very much for joining us on the programme. Now, Carlos Puigdemont says he wants further guarantees from Madrid that it will not invoke Article 155 if he were to hold regional elections. Do you think he'll get what he wants? I'm not sure. Manuel Rajoy will never accept that. I mean, this is basically blackmailing. He says, give me something, or if you don't give me what I'm looking for, I will not give you what you're looking for. Uh, for on the other side. So my, my real concern is what's going to happen tomorrow. Will the Spanish Senate vote first, then the Catalans will decide whether or not they declare independence or the other way around? We don't know. I think that tonight nobody knows what's going to happen and anything can happen tomorrow. Now, uh, as you said, Spain Senate's going to meet tomorrow. What options does Madrid have on the table? Well, Madrid uh, basically has all the options. Uh, it can actually enforce Article 155, and call for new elections that has been already uh, mentioned by Mariano Rajoy during the press conference uh, last week on Saturday. Mm. And the other option would be to uh, control directly the uh, uh, Generalitat de Catalunya, not to suspend or to abolish the autonomy of Catalonia. That mm. will be uh, more slightly a direct control from Madrid over uh, the uh, of Catalan authorities uh, directly through the uh, Spanish government. So these are basically the two options uh, the, the, the Spanish government has. On the other hand, the Catalans don't have much options but stepping back, and they will never do that, or going ahead to declare independence. That's the only way. Does Carlos Puigdemont know what he's doing? Because now he says it's up to the parliament, the regional parliament, to decide if they want, if Catalonia wants independence from Spain. Is he pushing uh, the problem to someone else? Well, I think he has no other option. I mean, he's, he's stuck down. I mean, there, there's no other way for him. He is under pressure between the uh, right wing uh, 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 of his coalition uh, and the uh, extremist left wing independentist. Mm. Uh, so the different components of, of, of his, his majority uh, uh, are, are probably having discussions and, 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 and negotiations in order to know exactly what's going to be said tomorrow. Uh, I think is between the two, and on the other side is between what the uh, Catalan society uh, uh, expects and what the Spanish government is asking for. So it's a very complicated situation. But to answer your question, yes, I think he knows what he is doing. He's a very smart politician. What he wants to do is to be a martyr of the uh, Catalan uh, uh, history. Absolutely. That's what he's doing. Because he's today doing when he did well. speak, we were I was watching and I thought initially when he started talking that he was actually calling a snap so election. So did I. So did we until, all. <laughs> until he didn't. No, he until did he not. Back, he has this way of speaking that he says something and then he, he skirts around the issue. He's going back and forth, in and out, and that's what he's doing since three weeks. It's a combination of a strategy. They know they will not get it. The, the, the independent will, is, is not possible tomorrow, neither from a political nor from an economical standpoint. One day, eventually, they will try. And pushing harder, they will probably, on the way to the independence, someday uh, uh, achieve their goals. But today he is really between the different components of the uh, Catalan society, most of the Catalans are fed up with what's going on. Uh, don't forget that the majority of Catalans did not vote or are not in favor of that. Mm. And on the other hand, you've got all the uh, business society, all uh, the economy of Catalonia, uh, which is going away. So this is a crucial moment for Catalonia and for Spain. And I think that Puigdemont has to balance all the different options. Now, I want to talk about the EU's response, because for the most part, they've been silent. But tomorrow, if Catalonia were to become independent, it would suddenly become a European problem. What happens to, to Catalonia? Does, does it have access to the EU market? Um, are you surprised that, uh, that the EU has remained silent? Well, I'm not. Not at all. Uh, if Catalonia declares uh, the independence tomorrow, who's next? Flanders? Northern Italy? Uh, maybe uh, Scotland again? Uh, and, and some other regions, uh, maybe in France. So nobody in Europe, and especially not Brussels, want to have that kind of situation happening again and again. But if Madrid does invoke Article 155 of the Constitution, die hard, independent, like people who want independence in Catalonia, 
are surely not going to take that lying down. There could be scenes of violence. We, anything is really possible. Anything can happen, of course. And I hope that what you're talking about, that, that that's one of the worst case scenario, will never happen. So that mostly depends upon what's going to be said tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow is going to be a kind of tango game between the Catalans and the Spaniards. The Spaniards and the Catalans will play the same game, but 600 kilometers away one from the other. The Senate will meet tomorrow morning at 10. Then there will be a declaration. They will authorize the government to enforce Article 155 and to do whatever is necessary or appropriate uh, in order to reestablish legality and order in Catalonia. So what will the Catalan parliament do next? We don't know, but we will know tomorrow for sure. A tango. That's a nice way of putting Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Jean-Marc Sanchez, thank you very much thank for you joining very much us on the program. In other news, polls have closed in Kenya after a repeat election was held this Thursday. Three people were